وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا صالحا وقال انني من المسلمين الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله before you watch this video understand that this video is a thank you and an evidence and a jazakum Allahu khairan to all those brothers and sisters that promote the videos that share the videos that post the videos that send them out on groups because this brother who you're about to listen to would have never known about Islam if it wasn't for the fact that somebody shared our videos with him. He's in a remote area, no masjid, no Muslims around him, never met a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, by the will of Allah, as you will hear him say himself, he's researched Islam and he found our videos, somebody posted them, and from that, in a place with no other means of learning Islam, he accepts Islam. Watch, enjoy, and remember to share, subscribe, and like. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa ala Rasulillah. So our brother Jared, alhamdulillah, reached out to us. Uh, and alhamdulillah, he's ready to accept Islam. I'm going to let him talk about himself a little bit. So tell us a little bit about yourself, how you learned about Islam. Go for it. Uh, well, I actually, I kind of learned about Islam myself. Um, <clears throat> come from a long line of like Christian preachers and stuff. Grandfather, uncles, all of it. And... Um, I just could never put all the pieces together of the things they were trying to explain to me. And so I just left religion entirely, you know, and I got myself into a bunch of trouble. You know, I'm 32 <laughs> and uh, yeah. it's a lot. I recently, <clears throat> I was drinking a lot all the way up until just last year and I gave it up. You know, mm. I started uh reading and learning more uh, watching videos of yours and a bunch of others you know and cross-examining and things like that you know trying to wrap my head around yeah. everything and i just i don't know i just found the truth in it you know like the, the mathematical it, things and just yeah. there's just way too many wonders in there that i'm like wow and um you know so yeah, that's amazing yeah this is uh this is really beautiful to hear you know because Sometimes we have uh, da'wah at the tables, you know, at the park or the malls, but there's a lot of people like yourself that aren't really at the scene. Uh, you're not in Hyde Park, you're not in Balboa Park, but the videos right. reach everywhere. And that's a great thing. I mean, a lot of work, everybody oh, yeah. who prom promotes the videos, who sends them out, who posts them, because for us, I, I, I mean, where are you located at? I am in a place uh, in Oklahoma, a little tiny small Oklahoma. town in Oklahoma. <laughs> Just see now, think about a bunch that. of little country. San Diego. Like I'm in San Diego, California. I've never been to Oklahoma, and I definitely haven't been to your town. But because of the other people who promote the da'wah, who, who post the videos, who share them, that da'wah got to Oklahoma. And somebody who's right. sincere, like yourself, who wanted to know the truth, even though your father, grandfather, long lineage of preachers and priests, uh, when you had that true, sincere want for the truth, Allah brought that message to you. And alhamdulillah, this is a beautiful thing, that your heart was open enough, your mind was open enough that you accepted it. You'll see a lot of the debates that right. we have, the discussions, the da'wah, will we'll mention miracles of the Qur'an that people cannot deny. I mean, this is the thing. A lot of people... Sometimes they try to rationalize it, you know, like, for example, we talk about how the Quran talks about the sun and the moon and the heavenly bodies being in an orbit. They're like, oh, yeah, maybe right. Muhammad guessed at it, you know, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, how do you guess at that? Right. Right? <laughs> but you, let's say he did. Can't. Let's give him that. Okay. Well, he guessed that it got it right. Okay. What about when he talked about salt water and sea water touching and not mixing? knowing that he had never been to a place where there was salt water. He had never been to the ocean, the Red Sea, the little rivers and creeks around Mecca were all sweet water. He guessed at it again and got it right. Okay, well, okay, let's give him that. Then we're talking about mountains being pegs into the ground. He's not a geologist. He doesn't have drills to go into the ground and see that, that, that the plates that were, you know, 
moving when they touched and they made into the mountain ranges that secured them and move, stopped them from shaking. How would he guess at all of that, right? Then you look at, like you right. mentioned, the numeric miracles. You talk about the prophecies in the Quran that came true. You can't guess every time and get it right. <laughs> and, no. and that's and the thing. The, the, the clarifying of the stories, too, is what yeah. I find the best. You know Exactly. You know, in Surah Yusuf, uh, the Sa'ilun, the ones who questioned, this was the Jews who knew the story of Joseph and Moses, but the Arabs didn't. So the question they sent to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was tell us why was Moses in Egypt when the people of Israel are from the Levant or the Sham, you know, this area, Palestine, uh, you know, Lebanon, all this area. Right. So the Arabs of Mecca, they didn't know. They were like, yeah, it's a great question. He's not going to be able to answer this one. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he didn't know. And Allah revealed to him the story of Joseph and how when Joseph, you know, he was uh, thrown out by his brothers and then picked up the caravan and got to Egypt. And then, you know, the, the drought that came and people came to Egypt, the people of Israel. So again, the clarification of what had really happened that he could not have known. He, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, couldn't even read or write. I mean, you know, he couldn't even go right, and pick up right. a book and read it, you know. And, hmm. and that's the beauty of Islam is we show evidence after evidence. We don't believe in blind faith. We believe in faith based on evidences. And many Christians you'll see in the videos that we have, you'll show them the, the contradictions in the Bible or the clear uh, corruption or the authors being murderers and traitors and anonymous. And they'll admit to it. They'll be like, yeah, but they don't have the sincere uh, desire to follow the truth to be able to accept the truth. You know, right. and that's what Allah blessed you with. Allah gave you this, uh, you know, in, in Oklahoma, you're not around any Muslims, you're in this remote area, but Allah opened up your heart. May Allah reward those that promoted the videos that got to you. May Allah reward all the brothers from the One Message Foundation who work in the background, not just me in the front, but that work on coordinating all of this. And may Allah bless you with guidance and make you steadfast on the religion. Anything else you want to share with the, the world before you take the shahada? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I just, I, you know, it's just me, it's my wife, and we have three kids and one on the way. And uh, Allah bless them. I just, I appreciate it. I, you know, I just want us to live a more solid lifestyle. I appreciate it'll, it. It'll, it, you it know, it'll definitely take steps, but you it know, takes time, um, man. Baby steps, relax. Right. You know, that's the thing. Uh, Aisha, ta, radiallahu anha, the, the wife of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, she she said a beautiful statement. She said, You know, if the, all the orders came in the beginning in Mecca, then people would not be able to handle it, like prayer, fasting, and giving up drinking, giving up uh, fornication, everything at once, it'd be too hard. So Allah made in the earlier verse in Mecca just about to faith, to increase their faith, their iman. Mm -hmm. And then in Medina, once the people made hijrah and they had that iman, then Allah revealed the rules slowly. Even giving up drinking was done in three stages. Uh, giving up uh, muta'a and things like this that were practices from the old days, temporary marriages, were, were ordered in stages until in the hadith in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon said, Allah made it haram till the day of judgment. So sometimes it's not easy to jump in all at once, you know? So the first right. thing is, the first and most important thing is your belief, right? To believe that that uh, Jesus is a prophet and he's not God, uh, you know, right. Ganesh or Ram or all these weird monkey blue guys are not gods, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no. Uh, we don't worship cows, we don't worship people, we don't worship saints, we don't worship graves, we don't worship idols. We worship the one true creator that's above us. He is above the samawat, above the skies. And he has sent his true message, the Quran, upon the Prophet, alayhi salatu salam, peace and blessings be upon him, to believe that there is none worthy of worship except one Allah, to believe the Prophet Muhammad is the last of all the prophets, peace and blessings be upon him. He is the final prophet in a series that began with Adam and all the way to him. We believe in Moses and Abraham and Jesus and Isaac and David and Solomon and all of them. We believe them as prophets. They brought the same message. Worship one God. Don't worship idols. Don't worship images. Follow the prophet of your time. 
if we were in the time of Abraham, we follow Abraham. In the time right. of Moses, we follow Moses. We are to, in the time of Jesus, we would follow Jesus. We are now in the time of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all the prophets. So we follow the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings right. be upon him. Simple, you know. You know, the whole, I mean, since you come from a Christian background and your father and grandfather and lineage were preachers, you know about the Bible. You know mm -hmm. about the history of Christianity and, and, and all the pagan things that were brought in, this three Godhead and this idea of God having a half-human son, which was a pagan idea, then making him as God, you know, impregnating Mary and, you know, being an right. actual father. I mean, we believe that Mary was a virgin, was a miraculous birth, like Adam was a miraculous birth, uh, Eve was a miraculous birth. You know, that's not... Um, there are other references to people that had no fathers and mothers in the Bible, even I don't want to go deep into that. But the point there being to make Jesus to into God, this was not the true message of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. We love him. Um, his own followers didn't worship him, right? And you can see many secular scholars like Bart Ehrman and saying that, that this was a development. The divinity of Jesus was something given to him afterwards. And you see the corruption brought into Christianity by Paul, um, you know, taking away from the original message and the way the original mm -hmm. disciples, uh, you know, they were following the religion. And that's why Paul was criticized by, by a lot of the original followers of Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, because he took away the Sabbath, he took away the circumcision and living the kosher lifestyle and all of that, that Jesus lived, you know. And then you right. see things like, like Christmas, like I'm sure in Oklahoma, when it's time for Christmas, you know, the place is lit up and you got Santa Claus everywhere. And, you know, <laughs> it is. is. And, and I, I don't know myself, I, I was a, a big part of that for the longest time. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, it's been a few years now that I've been, you know, learning. And so I've actually over the last two or three years, I've given up on all them holidays. I've cut them out yeah. of my children's life and stuff like that. And I explained Excellent. to them, I was like, I was like, don't let yeah. other kids at school, you know, let them have yeah. their beliefs. I said, but this is right. what we are going to start doing, you know? Yeah. We as Muslims are respectful of other people's practices, but we need to know reality. We need to know right. that this was a pagan festival called Saturnalia and one of the popes, and I have videos on this, they brought this into Christianity and was condemned by the early Christians. You know, even right. if you look at the early Puritans, they condemned Christmas, they condemned Halloween, they condemned all these things, which today have become, you know, churches have Halloween. Like, it's a devil-worshipping pagan thing. How could you do that? And they're like, you know, it's just money and numbers. Done, you know? <laughs> it's just something done nonchalant now. They just, people yeah, just nonchalant. have no problems, you know. I mean, think about this. You, you've read the Bible, and you, you come from a scholarly Christian family. Um, there is no reference to the 25th of December and Christmas in the Bible. Any biblical historian that studies the text will tell you that most likely Jesus was born in the summer. Peace and blessings be upon him. So how do we get to this 25th of December? This was Saturnalia. It was a pagan festival. And now not only have Christians adopted it, a pagan festival, but they've added to it things that it don't even make sense. Like Santa Claus. Where did Santa Claus come from? Right. Some dude right. coming down your chimney. I don't even have a chimney. I live in San Diego. We don't have a fireplace, mm -hmm. right? And and if some yeah. dude tries to, you know, come into my house at night, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll treat him like I'm in Oklahoma. He, he won't be walking back out of the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be standing no. my ground. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, but I, I feel... I feel the sincerity in you, and I, I ask Allah to uh, give you a steadfastness. Uh, the nasiha or the advice I will give to you as I would give to myself is Allah has blessed you. I, this is not, uh, this is a miracle. I mean, how somebody in a remote area of Oklahoma that doesn't know any Muslims, that didn't have the interaction from a scholarly Christian preacher family and background found the truth of Islam as no less than a miracle. And when Allah has given you this gift, and the, the thing we have to do is we call it shukr. Shukr is thankfulness with action. In Islam, when you want to thank Allah with the tongue, like you want to make a statement of thankfulness, you say alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah is thanking. But when you want to do shukr, when you want to thank Allah, the shukr, this is with the action. So what is the action? Be steadfast. You know, stay on it. You're going to get hit. Look, Satan 
has been misguiding you for a long time with alcohol, with partying, with what? Well, I'm not even going to guess at everything else, but trust me, I've been there, done that. Uh, uh, and not, not the alcohol part, but I mean the, the crazy life, right? So I know right. I was raised out here and, and I was raised in a bad environment, went through all of that. So I feel you. And now that you have broken away from the tricks of Satan and you are coming to the truth today, inshallah, when you accept the Islam, when you do the Shahada, you're going to be a newborn baby. All your past is gone. Whatever sins, whatever you did in the past, whatever may have happened, it's gone. It's clean. It's clear. You got a clean swipe. Whatever bad deeds turn into good deeds, you're going to be a brand new person, right? But from here on, Satan's not going to leave you alone. You know, he's going to be like, mm -hmm. yo, I need, I need some company in hell. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I, I want you to go with me. So you just got to be like, now nah, I'm good. You know, he's going to tempt you through your family, through your friends, your old acquaintances, through temptations of the old life, through frustrations and trials and tribulations. But know this, in the end, life is a test. You know, right. in the end, what are you going to do? You're not going to make it out of this life al alive. We're all going to die and we're all going to go back to our creator. So just think, how do I want to go back to my creator in a, in a clean living where me, my wife, my children live in a drug-free, alcohol-free, abuse-free, clean household? Or do I want to just be like, you know, living that life that so many people have ruined with just alcoholism and drugs and abuse? And, and again, nobody plans that. Nobody thinks I'm going to get drunk and abuse my kids. But that's what happened. That's why alcohol has that evil. Nobody thinks I'm going to get in, get drunk and hit somebody as I'm drunk driving. But that's the result right. of these evils. That And that's why Allah made it haram on us. It's not like it harms Allah if we drink. It's because we get harmed as a society. We get harmed spiritually and physically. So may Allah give you the steadfastness. And, you know, we're here for you. You have my son's number. He's the one that set up the Zoom call. Mm -hmm. And, right. uh, you know, he's, uh, Yusuf, he's, he's, uh, it's his job. It's his responsibility to keep up with you. So keep up with him. Any questions you have, you know, we have series on the Majid Ribad channel about the life of the prophet, peace be upon him, about how to pray, how to fast. We'll take you through all of that. Never be shy to reach out. Even if you're just feeling down, you know, if you're just feeling a little alone, you know, no problem. You know, someday we'll love to see you in San Diego. We'd love to come out to Oklahoma, meet you in person. But uh, you're our brother, and uh, we, we got you. All right? Appreciate it. All right. Any questions you have before we do the Shahada? No. All right. No. All right, my question, my famous question now. English first or Arabic first? Let's do, we'll do, we'll do Arabic first. Ooh, I like it. You're brave. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say it, you say it with me. I'm going to say it, then you say it after me. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammada. Muhammada. Abduhu, Abduhu, Warasulu, Warasulu. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> You're Muslim. All right, we'll do English. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. Then Muhammad, then Muhammad is the servant, is the servant and messenger of Allah, and messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar. Hmm. Allah is the greatest. You're Muslim. Brand new Oof. life, bro. Past I mean, clean, I mean, okay, clean, sweet. shaky. <laughs> yeah, man. You, you got you got me goosebumped right now myself. And I, you know, like I told you, we've had Alhamdulillah. Uh, you know, in the last year and a half, you know, we've had more than a thousand people except Islam. We just had mm -hmm. one shahada in the masjid today. But every single time I get the goosebumps, I get this this feeling in my chest of happiness because uh, it, it brings tears to my eyes. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, oh, yeah. even when I'm watching the videos, no, I'm like, man, 
it, it does. You know, I, I feel it. Powerful. And it's something beautiful and amazing because this is coming to the purpose of your creation. Allah says, Ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal-insa illa li-ya'budun. We did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship Allah. In ya'budun, to worship Allah, you have to know who Allah is. So when you come back to the purpose of your life, that's a beautiful day. That's a great day. This is the best day of your life. You have, you have, you have passed this test. How long as you stay steadfast on it now? This is a ticket to paradise. I mean, being saved from the hellfire, knowing why you were created, what's better than that? Nothing. Jared, alhamdulillah, it's beautiful to meet you, brother. And you uh, if you want to, you want to keep your name, Jared? Seems like a good name. No need to change it. If you do want to change it to a more Islamic sounding name, let me know. We'll help you out. Um, and, you know, if you need anything else for your family, if you talk to your wife and she has questions about Islam, uh, your children or your family, uh, we're here to help you. You know, we got you. So we'll okay. be in touch. And uh, I'm going to let you end this with a message for everybody else out there that may be in the same position that you're at meaning maybe they're from a Christian background or Jewish background and they're trying to find the truth and maybe they've walked away. Because we see a lot of people that kind of get sick of the, the falsehood of Christianity and they just walk away from religion at all and they just get caught up in a lot of darknesses. So give them a message. Well, my message to them would just be basically, for me, what made it simple was just... Uh, one, the videos. I mean, technology is such a powerful thing. I mean, you got everything from the Hebrew, you know, to the Aramaic. You got every single thing you can go to the original, to the new. You can look all these things up. I feel like anybody that is Christian uh, or even just someone who is trying to find religion, you know, I mean, read the books. I mean, it's, you know, reading is a good thing anyways. It's just, mm -hmm. it, it makes you knowledge is power. I've always heard it my whole life. And so once I started using my knowledge, you know, the truth came so easily, so quick. And, uh, you know, I'm trying, I, I do have several friends here and there that are, you know, and they're kind of wishy-washy, you know, but mm. even, even so, I mean, <clears throat> I've been working with them. I have actually bought uh, Clear Quran. Um, yeah. Uh, bought several copies of it and I've handed it out to them and I, I'll have them come over and we'll read and things like that and I actually did that earlier today before work and uh, that, would be, that would be it for me I mean I would say definitely just read the books I mean that's what they're there for they're there mm -hmm. to be our guide why not use it you know hearsay can go all over the place <laughs> nice well, I appreciate it, and uh, I ask Allah to make me and you steadfast on the religion. And like I said, I mean, uh, this is the greatest day of your life, uh, And but you have a responsibility now. You know the right. truth. You have a message. Now you got to share it like you're doing already with your friends and coworkers and your family. And like I said, it's not going to be easy because nothing worth doing is ever easy. But, right. you know, l look at all the things we tolerated for the bad life, meaning, you know, when people get drunk with hangovers and police and fights and all that, I'm sure. It's terrible. I don't know it's your terrible story, thing. but <laughs> it was never I any can tell of that. It wasn't that crazy, but it was. I used it as a crutch. Uh, I did. I used yeah. it as a crutch for everything. I mean, if I had a headache, I was going to drink. You know, if I had right. a bad day, I was going to drink. Um, Sports, but, sports, um, sports, uh, sports event, great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally, it was, it was a terrible you. thing. But, but uh, you know, yeah, no, I, I never just drank. Completely yeah. want to be separated from it. Alhamdulillah, you know, I I grew up in a rough lifestyle and rough neighborhood and all of that. And trust me, I know the. Even though I mean, somehow I just I just never wanted to drink because I never wanted to be out of control. But, but that lifestyle it puts you in a dark place and you don't even realize it. You know, you, you just, mm. you just keep going down that path and it, it's like the and rabbit just, hole, you know, and it just pushes so many people away. Anyways, you, yeah. you, you just, yeah. you push yourself away from the love of others for sure. Oh, well, that's what I did. That's what I would say. And, and a lot of people I know, they would just, they would just fake Christianity into it. They would just be like, yeah, I go to church on Sundays and Jesus died for my sins. So I can do whatever. And they would still mm. be drunk and they would still be, living that crazy lifestyle of 
fornication and all of that. And then they would just fake being Christians. But Alhamdulillah, Islam is that truth that takes you out of all of that. Where you say, you know what, I'm Muslim. I got to live a Muslim lifestyle. I got to I gotta set a, a, a precedence for my children. My children can't be seeing their dad out drunk, no. you know, peeing on himself. I can't. I can't have my wife hitting the clubs and all that. Nah, you know, you, you, you live your no. life as a man, right? So may Allah yeah. bless you and reward you. And alhamdulillah, you're my Muslim brother. So I'm going to say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thanks. I'm right? Yes. Excellent. You ready? Yes. All right. Arabic first or English first? English first. Please. All right. I like it. So I'm going to say it. You repeat it after me, okay? I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the servant and messenger of Allah. Is the servant and messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allah. Allah. All right, Arabic now. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu ashhadu anna anna Muhammada Muhammad abduhu abduhu wa rasuluh wa rasuluh Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Alhamdulillah you are a Muslim you are a newborn child today. All your past is wiped out. Any sins the past turned to good deeds. You got a new start today. It's the best day of your life. Better than the day you were born. Better than anything else. This is when you have come back to the purpose that you were created for. Allah created mankind to worship Him, to recognize Him. And you have come to that today. May Allah make me and you steadfast. Allahu Akbar. What is success? Success is when people recognize their Creator and worship their Creator and live by what Allah has ordained. Allahu Akbar, these people that you're watching accepting Islam, this is our success, this is our victory, this is our fath, this is what Allah has ordained for us. We don't care about subscribers and views, we, don't, we, we care about sharing the videos and promoting the message so people like this can learn about Islam and turn back to their Rabb. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, till today, I'm not paid by OMF. I'm not paid by my masjid. We do this for the sake of Allah. But these brothers that you're seeing accepting Islam, this is our happiness. This is our paycheck because we will get the reward for this in the akhirah. And every one of you that shares the videos, promotes the videos, that supports OMF in any which way, whether it's financially, whether it's just with your dua, you will be a part of this reward. We have a lot of people that are haters that are out there just to become famous of our names by putting us in thumbnails. We have a lot of people from the Ummah that are just jealous and they just want to pick faults. You have a lot of Christians and Jews and atheists and Hindus that are just out there trying to make a name for themselves by hating on Islam. But you don't see people accepting the religion as you see people becoming Muslim because their intention is different. If their intention is fame, maybe they'll get it. If their intention is money, they'll get it. If their intention is just to hate, they'll be able to hate. But our intention isn't to hate anybody. Our intention isn't for fame or money or worldly gains. Our intention is to connect people with their Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why, walhamdulillah, now we're getting to almost 1,500 people that have accepted Islam in the last year and a half. Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu Ashhadu An 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 La An La La Ilaha 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 Illallah Il Illallah Illallah Shabbat Bad Bukhusur Wa Ashhadu Wa Ashhadu Anna An Muhammad Mu Muhammad Muhammad 
محمد عبد عبد و رسول و رسول الله اكبر ما شاء الله ما شاء الله سبحان الله الحمد لله امنت ان الاخره لا بد يوما اتي كل الخلائق حاضره كل السرائر باديه امنت ان الاخره لا بد يوما اتي كل الخلائق حاضره كل السرائر بادية